Hi beautiful, thank you for joining me today. Today's video is six fall outfit formulas that are chic and sophisticated and very easy to put together. I got this idea from a wonderful subscriber who left a comment on my previous video. She asked how I come up with all these outfit ideas. That inspired me to create these outfit formulas for you so that you can refer to it and help you get dressed very easily and without much thought at all. Stay tuned to the end for a bonus seventh outfit formula. Without further ado, let's begin. We'll start every outfit formula with a base layer. So in this case, I'm starting off with a long sleeve t-shirt, high-waisted ankle length trousers. These happen to be faux leather, but you can go for any type of trouser that fits the silhouette. I'm looking for a high waist, loose through the leg, and it tapers to an ankle length. Try to have it end right above your ankle, not too high above your ankle, just so that your ankle bone is on show. The reason being is if you are petite, I want it to be high-waisted, but again, not too high because I know you petites out there complain about high-waisted coming up too high onto your stomach area and you feel like it's overwhelming you. Try to find something at your belly button and this way it elongates you as much as possible because we are cutting you shorter here at the ankle. For us non-petite ladies that's not going to be an issue. I've opted for a fitted t-shirt here and it's long sleeve. I prefer crew necks but you can also go for a v-neck if you prefer that as well. I'm going to tuck it in because I do want to have some waist definition and I want the full trouser to show again so that I can elongate the lower half of my body. In general, I find that when you elongate your lower half, it makes you appear taller than when you're trying to elongate your upper half. For the shoes, I've opted for these sling back kitten heels with a pointed toe. Now the beauty of these types of trousers is that you can virtually wear any type of shoe as long as it's a low shaft shoe. As long as it's not covering up your ankle bone, it's going to be flattering with these types of trousers. A loafer would work, some white sneakers, ballerina flats. I think any of those three could really work here. Next up, let's throw on a little bit of jewelry because I'm feeling quite plain. The jewelry is not part of the outfit formula, but it is something I like to accessorize with. So you pick the items that you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to go with a couple of bracelets and some earrings, and I'm choosing silver this time. Next, we need that third layer. The reason I'm opting for the bomber jacket is because I'm trying to pair two different types of genres here. I already have rather formal trousers with these ankle length trousers. These are ones that you can take from workwear to evening wear. They're a little bit more more than casual, let's say. A t-shirt is very casual, and the slingbacks, I'd say, are a little on the dressy side. So this is a mix of some dressy and casual items, and this bomber jacket is very casual, sporty in fact, and I think it's gonna make a nice mix. I love how this looks. I pulled the sleeves up to show a little bit of the long sleeve t-shirt. You don't necessarily have to get the ones with the thumb holes that I'm currently obsessed with. If you don't want a long sleeve tee, you can also opt for a short sleeve tee or a tank top and just show some skin here instead. But I do like to pull up the sleeves because it just adds some visual interest, adds a little bit of cool girl style, and just makes it look like you put a little effort into it. So that is the overall outfit. Here we have the bomber jacket, the long sleeve t-shirt, the high-waisted ankle length trousers, and the sling back heels. For accessories, I always think finishing off with some sunglasses is always a way to add some cool girl style. These are brand new from Amazon. I think there are dupes of YSL's sunglasses, but they are are like $10 or something, and they really add a nice cool girl factor. And they're polarized, which is funny because most designer sunglasses are not polarized, but these are, and they're dirt cheap. For the bag, you can go with either genre that you have paired here, either something structured like your lower half or something sporty and casual like your upper half. I wanted to go with something more structured, so I opted for this bag here. And that is my first outfit. What do you think? Next up, we have a classic French girl style outfit. We are starting off with a tank top, but you can also opt for a short sleeve or a long sleeve tee instead. I did want a little more skin showing in this case, so that's why I opted for this one. And it's tucked in, of course, to some classic Levi's 501s. These are the perfect straight leg jean. The waistband is right at my belly button, so not too high or not too low. I think it's just the perfect rise. And it's a nice, slim, straight leg, not too wide and not too tight either. The length, I could do with it being maybe just an inch shorter because I do like my ankle to show, but these are not considered cropped. They do come in a few different inseams, so find the one that works best for you. And of course, you probably have already guessed that the footwear in this case is going to be some classic ballerinas. These are some two-toned ballerina flats, Chanel dupes, and I really love them, but I'm not quite ready to invest in the real ones. We're going to add a little contrast in this outfit, and that is to go with a leather jacket. This is a cropped leather jacket, kind of moto in style, but it's a perfect accompaniment to kind of some dainty shoes and just a classic 
classic silhouette. I'm going to pull my sleeves up just a little bit to show some of my wrist and to show my jewelry. I love how this jacket matches the ballerinas, but you can also opt to wear a black jacket and match the tone of the ballerina too, or just go for a full black ballerina instead. I'm not worried about color so much in these outfit formulas. It's really just how to put these pieces together. Finished it off with my Polen bag, and that is this outfit formula. Leather jacket, white t-shirt, straight leg jeans, and ballerina flats. This next outfit formula is going to combine some smart and casual cozy pieces. Starting off, we have high-waisted full-length trousers. Again, these are a little looser and more relaxed fitting, which is just the way I like my trousers. Never want them too tight or too snug on the booty because that's just not the way that a pair of smart trousers should drape. So always look for something more relaxed and don't be afraid to size up. The casual element, of course, is a t-shirt. I opted just for a short sleeve tee. I actually do not own any long sleeve white t-shirts. I have to add that to my list of necessary things to buy. But if you have a long sleeve tee, you can opt for that or go for a tank top if you don't want to be so warm. We're going to sandwich the casual on top and bottom. So in this case, I'm going to go with some sneakers. When trying to fit the pieces from your closet into this formula, look for trousers that are not too long, ones that fit well with sneakers, because these are not too long. They're not puddling all that much on the ground. They're also not too wide, so you are seeing most of the sneaker in this case. Sometimes if the leg is a little too wide or a little too long, it's going to cover most of this shoe. And because we don't have a pointed toe, the sneakers are round, you are losing kind of that elongating feel. So you don't want the leg to be too long or too wide because it's going to cover your sneaker and it's going to look a little frumpy. To continue with a cozy vibe, we're going with a cropped cardigan sweater. This one is new from Cause and I absolutely love it. I love that this is a cropped cardigan because it is ending at my waist, again, keeping my long length. I also pulled up the sleeve so that it ends at the crop here because that way it also helps accentuate the waist as well and also keeps it looking a little more daintier and not too overwhelming on your frame. And of course, if I was wearing some bracelets for this outfit, it would show those off as well. If I went with a longer cardigan, I feel that it's going to compete too much with the looseness of these trousers and you're going to feel a little too frumpy. Finishing off the look with some white sunnies from Amazon, same as the ones that I showed you before, but these are in white. When they're so inexpensive, why not get them in a multitude of colors to match all your outfit? Continuing with the cozy theme, I went with my old H&M faux shearling bag to just add to the coziness. And this is your completed outfit formula. We have a cropped cardigan, t-shirt, and high-waisted, full-length, relaxed trousers. Three down, three to go. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let YouTube know that you're enjoying it. If you're new here, hello, my name is Maria, and this channel is all about chic, sophisticated, and modern fashion. So if you enjoy that type of content, I think you're gonna love it here. Please go ahead and subscribe, and I'd love to see you here in the next video. This next outfit formula is taken straight out of my previous video of 16 fall outfits. If you missed that, you really should check it out because there's a lot of great inspiration in that video. I'll link it below for you. This was the gray all about it outfit, but I changed it up a little bit. I'm starting off with a black fitted turtleneck. This is a cashmere one and it's beautiful from Lily Silk. I've had it for a while and I love it. And this is the Julie skirt from Cezanne. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is tuck it in. I've removed the fabric belt that it comes with and I'm going to add my own. And of course I'm pulling up my sleeves. When I have a turtleneck on, I do like to pull my hair back just because I feel like my long hair competes with a turtleneck a little bit too much, but I did put a statement earring here. You can also opt to do a chunky necklace instead, but don't do both. Just do an earring or a chunky necklace. You might be wondering why I'm going tight and tight on both pieces because generally I like to mix loose and tight together, but that's because I'm going to be putting an oversized blazer on top of it. This one is the Michelle jacket from Cezanne, of course, and I absolutely love it. These colors don't match perfectly, but they are a good complement to each other. All right, jacket is on, sleeves are pushed up. I have the little black turtleneck peeking through here at the end, and I have the belt on, waist definition. So even though this oversized blazer is kind of overwhelming me, I never close it. I always have it open so that you can see my silhouette underneath. As far as the oversized length of this, I do want you to look for something that is close to your mini skirt without going past it. Don't want a blazer that is going to be at your waist, like a crop blazer. If you're gonna do that, then I would tell you to 
to trade out the mini skirt for a long skirt instead, like midi or maxi in length, because when you do a cropped on cropped, it's just not as stylish as it could be if you opted for a cropped in a long piece. So just think of that juxtaposition there. For shoes, you can opt for a kitten heel like I did in the previous video, but I want to give this a little bit more of a cool weather feel. We're going to go with some knee high boots in this case. Amazon Sunnies to finish off the look. Here's the outfit formula, oversized blazer, fitted turtleneck sweater, mini skirt, and knee high boots. What do you think? Now for this next outfit, I might be looking a little frumpy right now with my shirt loose and my pants puddling on the floor, but I'm going somewhere with this. I want you to have some long jeans and a button up blouse. It doesn't have to be striped. It could be any color that you wish. The very first thing I'm going to do is tuck it in. Now in general, I personally tend to feel a little Little stuffy in a white button-down shirt so I like to combat that by rolling up my sleeves and also by wearing an extra button over a little bit of a Cezanne style trick where the ladies just like to have their buttons all the way down of course that's just for styling purposes it can't be all that realistic but I do like to have a little bit of neck showing in any case these jeans if you can see are extremely super high-waisted so what I like to do is add a belt in this case belts are not part of my outfit formula so wear them as you feel necessary for your outfit if you want to add a little extra something or keep it bare totally up to you but in this case I want to hide a little bit more of this band because it is just coming up so high and it's such a long rise as you can see this is just like a lot of pants going on here. Now you see the belt hid a little bit of these jeans and just didn't make them look so extremely high. Now the reason these jeans are so long is because they are the appropriate length for these knee-high stiletto boots that I have. Now you don't have to go with a stiletto heel, it could be a block heel, and you don't have to go with a heel so high, it can be also a kitten heel instead, whatever you have on hand. But the reason being is that I want you to match the length of your jeans to the height of your boots. What you wanna look for is to have your jeans just slightly brush against the floor. Don't touch the floor, but they should be slightly touching the floor, maybe about an inch off the floor. That way it elongates your silhouette as much as possible and it is really just a cool sophisticated look. You want the trousers to be boot cut or flared. These are kind of a mix in between the two. Okay, boots are on and I forgot to mention, of course, they don't have to be knee high boots. You can also have a sock booty, little ankle booty, just as long as it follows the criteria that I mentioned. The last piece of this formula is a classic trench coat. This one is new from Mango. I had one that I purchased from my haul, but I ended up returning that one because the color was a little off and I was finding it to be a little too cool and most of my wardrobe is on the warmer side. And I'm terrible with colors. I only noticed that because it was reading very green when I styled it in one of my last videos. I'm not going to just let this trench coat wear me. I'm going to wear it and style it up instead. So in order to do that, I'm going to pull up these sleeves and allow my shirt sleeves to show through. I think that is always such a cool look and I did it with the bomber jacket earlier and I think it looks so cool with this too. You can pull the cuff up like this or just leave it long. For these purposes, I'm just styling it up right here in front of you, but to keep this on long term, you can always use that little rubber band trick for any of the sleeves that you need to pull up. You can run a rubber band just past your elbow scrunch up the material as you wish and it stays there all day. I've also belted it without buttoning it. So I've created an hourglass figure here, kind of an hourglass, if you can see it like that, right? Little hourglass figure. Finishing it off with some tortoise shell sunglasses, Amazon again, and my Bottega suede bag. Now let's hope that it doesn't actually rain when I wear this outside. So this outfit formula is a trench coat, button down shirt, bootleg or flare jeans, and pointy toe boots. For this next outfit, I want you to start with a base of a suede sweater dress. This one in particular is a very loose fitting A-line style. I do wish it was a little more fitted at the waist, but we can take care of that in just a little bit. Because this is a midi dress, I want to pair the boots in a similar color to the dress to keep a very long line from head to toe. I also want the boots to be tall enough so that the hem of the dress falls past the top of the boot. In this case, I'm opting for knee-high boots. The next piece in this formula is a cropped blazer. Because this dress has an A-line style, I want the blazer to end at my waist so that you can make a little waist definition and have the skirt flare out. If by chance I was going with more of a column style sweater dress, 
dress, something more tighter and fitted that hugs the silhouette. Then in that case, I would probably go for an oversized blazer because you can see your figure underneath. Of course, I pulled up the sleeves as you can see. If you get any type of styling tip out of this video, I think it's going to be pulling up your sleeves because I think I've drilled it into your head at this point. Now this is a crop blazer, so it's ending at my waist and it is accentuating my waist. However, this is a little loose, so I will further accentuate it with a belt. It's not part of the formula, it's just my preference. I really wish Cezanne would bring back this belt. This is called the Fetiche belt, I think, if I'm saying it right or wrong, I don't know, but I absolutely loved this belt out of all the ones that they have to choose from. It's just really long on me and I would definitely get it in a smaller size. I've had my husband punch in extra holes so that I could fit it at my waist, but I would definitely get this in more colors and a smaller size because I love it very much. To finish off this look, I've gone with my Gucci bag. Just because these browns match perfectly, I have some chocolate brown in here. I felt like it needed something else to match in this case. This is a very easy formula to execute. It's an A-lined sweater dress cropped blazer and knee-high boots. Hold on, don't click off just yet. I have one more outfit formula to share with you and it's what I'm wearing right now. It is a long sleeve tee, sweater draped over the shoulders, maxi denim skirt and white trainers for a very casual but chic look. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I share content like this all the time. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite outfit formula was. And if you wanna see six more outfit formulas, I definitely have them for you. So let me know. Thanks so much for being here, beautiful. I appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye.